let's roll the tape on Stefano Sisipas in our cinema sessions. And Steph, we're throwing it way oh. back. <laughs> Come on, what year is this? Uh, this is 2016. Yeah. Australian Open. Let's see, quarterfinals? Yes, there you go. let's go. <laughs> Who are you playing? I'm playing Alex Diminor. Dang, look oh, at that. Oh, that's the match, yeah. There, there we go. go. That's crazy. Um, also, we were loving that you, obviously the, the look, the style has changed, but you're still rocking the headband. <laughs> I'm still rocking the headband. Look how long it is. It's longer than now, is it? Yeah. It looks good. It looks good. Uh, shorter hair, mm -hmm. just different shots, technique slightly changed <laughs> since then. Much more loose as a player. Look at me. I'm so loose as a player. Like, that year, I was 16, turning 17, I believe, that yeah. year, yes. Very underdeveloped, as you can see. Like, just pure ta not talent, but yeah. just playing with my skill. Very different to know. I think you and Demon both, like, using your skill here. Yes. Although Demon does feel a bit more like... Like he has had more work put in than me. Like I feel like completely. Look how tiny I am. Like, yeah, you you actually I don't have are, much muscle on me. <laughs> yeah, you are tiny. Yeah. What do you? I mean, do you remember like obviously as we watch the clips? Do you remember one or two moments of this Australian Open making the quarterfinals? I remember it rained in that match. Hmm. Yes, and we had to stop. There you go. I think that was after the rain or something. Was this your first My time? My serve is different as well. Mm. Like, Everything's just faster. I'm not taking my time. <laughs> different tennis. It's so different. Baby tennis. Steph. Baby Steph. All right, should we? Let's fast forward. Oh, ah. yeah. That's, that's uh, literally three years later. Yeah. Isn't it? It's crazy. Like a different person almost. Mm. Uh, Did you feel like a different person? My tennis improved in three years drastically. So much. Yeah, so much. It is crazy though, Steph. This is only three years after that clip we just watched. What's the feeling? I grew bigger, but yeah. also stronger. Like, there's so much more muscle to me and just um, stability in the way I prepare for the shots. There's just more, more power on my legs and control. What's the feeling in this match? I mean, the place was going wild. And this was the first time Melbourne like really felt the Greek fans supporting you the way that they did. That was the biggest match that I had in Melbourne, my first one actually, yeah. where I felt the real intensity of a road labor mm. uh, a fight, I call it. It was electric. It was electric, yes. A lot of Greeks that night playing against the legend of our sport, Roger Federer. Um, Unexperienced at the time because that was one of the first times that I played Roger. And um, I was putting everything on the line. My concentration was at its peak. Mm. I was zoned in. I was focused. I, it's one of the matches that I feel like I was uh, the most uh, mm. zoned in than any other match that I had. Like, I was playing my idol. There you go. And that's the moment of glory, moment of victory. Dude, look at your eyes. It felt, it felt magical. It felt magical. I won't lie. Because mm. there was a lot of... Um, there was a lot of involvement in the match where I had to stay involved. Roger had a lot of breakport opportunities. I came back, I mm. fought back, and... I, I never stopped believing that I'm capable. And my brother started crying because obviously he understands how much this means to me. And yeah. obviously we both dreamed of even maybe playing Roger one day because uh, we both uh, loved him. And that was the that was the greatest moment. Is that why it means so much to him, or he's just watching his brother? I think he got um, I think he got really emotional from the fact that his own brother uh, mm. was able to do that, and he was there to experience it. Yeah, it was the first time for him. First time. First time traveling to Australia with me. Wow. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So it was his one of his first matches that he got to watch on Red Lever Arena, and. That happened, so uh, I, feel like, I feel like it's normal, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yes. All right, so last year's final. Obviously, you've been in a major final before, but what was the feeling being able to reach your second Grand Slam final? It was a great moment. Um, I did um, play great tennis at the French Open a year before that, and uh, I got a taste of what it is uh, to play a Grand Slam final. 
I have to say from all the finals that I got to play, that was probably one of the most nerve-wracking ones. Um, due to the fact that I was not just playing to win my first Grand Slam title, but I was also playing to be crowned world number one in that match. I think a lot of things started flashing in front of my eyes, including my childhood, the, when I first started playing tennis, and now I was just fighting for my first Grand Slam and the world number one. There were a lot of thoughts uh, that were going through my mind. Of course, I tried to kind of stay strong and avoid them and not overthink or not pay too much attention to kind of the emotional part of it, let's say, yeah. and uh, block all these emotions out. But that was the moment that it made me understand why I love tennis so much and why it's absolutely normal to let those emotions kind of um, sink in and be part of your journey. The match, uh, well, I tried my best. It was not the best match that I've played in my life, but you know, I, I still tried and and uh, squeezed out every percentage out of my tennis that I could that night, and it wasn't enough. But I guess I guess it was not the moment. At the same time, it was just not the moment, you know. Mm. The last thing I want to ask you is, you've had such a great love affair with this city and with this tournament. What does it what's it bring out inside of Steph? Well, it brings tranquility, it brings great balance. When I'm in Melbourne, I feel uh, connected with the place uh, I'm at. Tennis feels like it makes a lot of sense here, mm. you know. The fact that the city is, is in such close proximity from the grounds makes it a, a very nice experience overall. Agreed. Like, you don't have to drive anywhere. You're literally there. You have the practice grounds. You have the people. I mean, literally, there are like a thousand restaurants in Melbourne uh, that are Greek. So um, it's difficult not to feel like you're at home, you know? Yeah. And we have so many friends here that we have uh, formed over the years. There's a lot of uh, genuine, real, authentic people in Melbourne, uh, which makes me feel... Uh, comfortable, makes me feel loved, makes me feel appreciated, the love tennis, and um, I feel like it's a combination of weather, food, people, culture, all coming together and, and forming a, an overall experience when I'm here. Mm. Well, we know you're a lover of all things cinema, so thanks for hanging out with us and keep writing your own script here in Melbourne. Thank you for uh, showing me some of my <laughs> little movies that I've formed over the years. No worries.